Well, hello everyone. I'm here today to share with you some quick and easy projects because I do a lot of sweaters and bralettes, which are long projects to take on, right? So sometimes it's nice just to have something that takes around an hour. Um, it's nice and quick and easy. It doesn't take too much material. You can get into your stash and find some yarn that's going to fit in with this project idea. So um, I'm sharing 10 ideas and they all are video tutorials on my channel so they're also free um, patterns on my blog so I'm going to put all the links below in the uh, it, right up right below the title of the video okay so here we go with 10 quick and easy projects I don't say that they're all an hour but they're around an hour to make and they don't take a lot of materials okay so for the first thing that I'm going to share with you is something that's one of the latest um, tutorials I actually put up but they're really quick and easy to make and they've been really popular some people have made like six or seven for all the members of their family so these are the Salish Sea short beanie and they're made top down using double crochet and there's a bit of ribbing along the bottom and they also fold down so they go right over your ears if you want them to so they're a short beanie but they're also a long beanie and all you need to know is how to double crochet and this is double crocheting into the front post and back post which I do explain in the video tutorial so that's a short beanie that's number one and then number two, we're going to share with you these cute fingerless gloves. These are called the short and chunky fingerless gloves. I wonder why. <laughs> so I've made these ones in a double color. You can make them in a solid color. You see how they've got a little hole up there, which is where your thumb goes through. These are all single crochet made out of Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick. So they make up really fast. They're great for selling at the market. And at these ones, I had a little bit of sparkly wool left, so I put it at the top. So they're just regular burgundy, and then they have the little thumb hole. And then um, I finish them off with sparkly. So yeah, these are really cute. They look really nice when they're on. People really like them at the market. I'm hot, so it's not going on very easily. But this is what they look like when they're on. So they're short and chunky, fingerless gloves. They are a free pattern on my blog, but they're also a tutorial here on my YouTube channel. So you can make them in any color. You can color block them. Um, Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick, I really recommend because it's got 20% wool and it makes them nice and warm and soft and cozy, but you can use any number six yarn. The third thing I wanted to share with you is this simple dishcloth and this one is the first project that I suggest you do after you do my episode one and two of how to crochet. This is all single crochet and it's a really nice washcloth and people love it at the market. I've only got one left. So uh, yeah, they are really nice and I make them out of worsted weight cotton. So you can choose whatever cotton you like or cotton blend even to make a dishcloth. They're so quick and easy and I will put the link below to the tutorial and also to the free pattern on my blog. Next I want to share with you something that's kind of trendy. It's a mason jar cozy. So this is really easy. You start it at the bottom and you make it just like doing the hat and you just increase but then we have a back loop dub only row just to make that nice little line that splits the sides from the bottom and then you go up and it just fits a mason jar. Now some people like to drink out of these. I'm not particularly keen on that but loads of people love it. They have tops that they put on. They can carry their drink to work in this. It kind of keeps it warm. You can put ice drinks in here and this keeps them nice and cool and you don't get all um, condensation on your hands because it gets soaked up in here. This is made with acrylic yarn but you can make them out of cotton. So this um, mason jar cozy is a really cool idea. The pattern that I have on my blog and the video tutorial show you how to make a heart to put on it but I didn't put one on here and I sell these at the market too. You can also make them in other colors like this one is just using up yarn that I had so I made the bottom out of the black and then the top out of royal blue. So it's up to you. You can really use up your scraps. You can make it striped if you want. So okay so now that we're down to number four 
And, oh, that was four, right? So I think we're down to number five, which is the cowl. I've got them all lined up here. I'm up in my new yarn room, my new studio. I'm very excited. I have a special place to do my YouTube videos. I've got some of my woven wall hangings hanging up. So this is a cowl. So it's a really easy cowl to make. And it's a great gift for people. And I do have this, as I said, on my video tutorial list. And it's just a simple cowl. And once again, it makes up really quickly. I just use some easy stitches, beginner stitches for you there, double crochets. And uh, I think it's a great Christmas gift. And this is easy to make. Super easy, nice mindless thing to do while you're watching television or uh, visiting with friends or whatever. Once you, cap, you chain the right amount of stitches, you just keep going. And it's in the round, so there's no seam, no sewing, all the way around. Okay, so after the cowl, we have this boho mug rug. I don't know if you've ever heard of a mug rug, but this is really beautiful stitching on this one. I think I used the blanket stitch or the sedge stitch. I can't remember which one. But anyway, it's got the nice little fringes on it and you can just put your mug on your mug rug and it protects your tables and it just looks really pretty in the home too. It's really nice. It's a mug rug and it's made with four weight worsted weight yarn. So I do have the tutorial for that and also the free pattern on my blog. So after the mug rug, we're gonna come down to number seven, which is this cup cozy. And, oh, I put it on upside down. <laughs> That's too funny. I thought I was all ready for you guys, and then I went and put it on upside down. So it's a cup cozy, and it does have a heart on it, but of course you can make it without the heart. And this is the same heart that goes on the mason jar cozy. There is uh, directions on how to make the heart. And then I like to sew a colorful button on it. And these are really quick and easy gifts that you can make for your friends and family. But you can make one for yourself. It's just so nice to have. So this is my heart cup cozy. And um, I hope you like this one. It's a really nice little quick and easy project to make. Okay. Now the next one I'm going to show you. This is actually the best selling um, pattern that I use at the market. And why it's really great for the market. This is a chunky beanie is it makes up with a Q hook really fast. So you're not gonna to have to work for too long to be able to make a really nice beanie that people love and you can sell it at a really good price because it's it's pretty, it's beautiful and it looks so good on. And I've made um, a short version of this because some people like the pom-pom on top of their heads and then I make a longer version because some people like it to be slouchy. So this one's got seven rows and this one's just got a six before you start with your fancy little brim here. And I've got my caraway stick, um, little wooden tag sewn on there. And then I just sat at the market the other day and made this while I was sitting at the market. This is one without a pom-pom because some people don't like pom-poms. So you can make this chunky beanie without a pom-pom. This is Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick, my favorite yarn. I'm not sponsoring them. I'm not promoting that. Um, you know, I have no sponsorship deals or anything. I'm not in that world. So that's the Chunky Beanie. And then the Ice Coffee Cup Cozy. This is really nice to keep. You could put it on to keep you it warm in the winter, but when I first designed it, it was for an ice cup coffee cup because of the condensation and then you have this like an almost a built-in coaster at the bottom that you can sit it down and it doesn't get your tabletops all wet so that's another um idea that's number nine and then number 10 finishing it all off is this hand towel now this is a little bit longer because it's bigger right but it has a really beautiful blanket stitch to it and um I also have the pattern for the dishcloth using the stitch that matches this hand towel. Those are two different tutorials here on my YouTube and the pattern is free on my blog. <laughs> I should have a recording of that. So I hope you like all these ideas. Um, I tried to get some home decor ideas, some accessories, some things that are great to make for the market if you have a market. I think I'm going to sneeze. And I hope you enjoy this little mini 
kind of a podcast sharing some of my crochet patterns that are quick and easy to make and don't take you forever. It's not a major commitment like if you're going to make a cardigan or a sweater. Okay, so thank you so much. I'm Pam Carr and I'm from Caraway Crochet and please subscribe to my channel if you would like to and click on the bell if you would like to get um, notifications and also hit the like button if you like this video leave a comment tell me which one's your favorite okay so thank you very much for joining me today take care and happy crocheting